Hey guys, so today's video is a Instagram controls my life during lockdown video. So I put a series of polls on Instagram asking you guys what you wanted to see today. So everything that I do in this video, you guys have decided that's what you want me to do, starting with what colour to wear. So the first poll was green or pink. So you guys chose pink. And I don't know why I put this top on as an option because I don't like it. But let's go ahead and trick it on anyway. There we go. So now I'm dressed. Let's go see what activities you guys have chosen for me to do today. Okay, so it is freezing. So possibly I should have said what coat should I wear. However, I am about to get into everything that we're going to do today. But I thought I'd let you know that I now have a TikTok. Charlie! I now have a TikTok. I don't know what I'm doing on it. But everyone's on it. So I thought, do you know what? Bite the bullet, give it a go. So me and my glamorous assistant here have uploaded our first video on there. I think I did it, I don't really know. Check it out, I'll, I will i don't know if you can link it. It's our little pet channel underscore official because there was another little pet channel that isn't me. So I am the little pet channel underscore official. Give me a follow guys because it means that I'm not just embarrassing myself. I can embarrass myself in front of all of you lot. That said, let's get on with everything that we need to do today. So I asked you guys who should I do activities with out of the pigs or Balto. And it was a really close call but Balto got the majority of the vote with 57%. So try him with a bit of agility but I don't own any dog agility things. So I decided to do a bit of research. Now the internet was kind of useless on my search of home DIY dog agility. However, I then stumbled across a YouTube video and it looked like far too much effort. So I decided that I was going to give up on my search and I'd just go and see what things we had lying around the farm. So I chucked on my boots, jumped on the tractor and drove around to see what I could collect in my trailer to make into a dog agility course. <laughs> Now we have various containers around the farm so I checked in those and we had a lot of wood and different bits and bobs like that but I didn't have time to build anything and also I don't think it's something I'm going to be doing a lot so there's no point. However I did finally find a few things. So next was selecting the area for my agility course. I was going to use the arena but caramel sticks are head through and I didn't want Balto that close to her the end of the paddock near the pigs so we have recently built a little brick outhouse there which is soon going to be a goat house we just need to find some rescue goats but this is a nice large space that's enclosed and fenced off so it's safe for balto to run free so once there i emptied out all the contents of the trailer and then i started setting up my little agility course Once I'd managed to drag Balto away from staring at the pigs, it was time to give it a go. I think it's fair to say we won't be doing much agility in the future. Balto was definitely not a natural when it comes to agility, he did give it a go and I did definitely enjoy it and it got us both running around so I definitely recommend it if you're stuck at home and you have nothing to do and you have a dog to try this because honestly it was actually really fun even though Balto wasn't very good at it and he took a lot of persuasion but it's also very good exercise, I was running about and doing more work than he was. We did however get rained off in the end, so then I popped around to the stables for the next task. 
I did not choose the right age to film this video. It's freezing and it's really windy. But anyway, let's get on with it. So the next thing I asked you guys was which horse should I exercise? Should I exercise Lucy or should I exercise Caramel? So Caramel won the vote. Let's get her ready to be lunged. And it's really windy, so I don't imagine this is going to go well. But it's what you guys want. So before I could lunge her, I had to go and grab Caramel out of her stable and I gave her a quick groom. To begin with I decided to lunge Caramel, now Caramel is probably the best horse we have for lunging, um, I don't even use a whip on her, she literally just does everything by voice commands, sometimes she can get a bit fizzy and she can sort of buck or canter off a bit, but honestly it's nothing that you can't handle, I mean she's tiny, she's 11 hands. So I did this as just a little bit of a warm up because I have got something else up my sleeve coming up. If you've seen the thumbnail you probably already know what it is but today we're going to be jumping caramel. Now I have not jumped caramel before as far as I'm aware. I think she has jumped in a previous home but we've had her for a few years now so she hasn't jumped for a few years so it'll be interesting to see if she's still got it, if she enjoys it, if she doesn't. Obviously if she doesn't enjoy it then we won't be doing much of it but I just thought it would be very interesting to see what she actually goes like, um, what height she'll jump, how well she jumps, the shape and everything like that. I'm just really excited to see what she's like over a jump. and then I set up a very small jump so I started just leaning it across my grooming kit and then I started by running over with her I have to admit I was super impressed with her first jump and she cleared it really well and she made a lovely shape over it to say I was running along with her I was so impressed by her bless her So she actually seemed to be really enjoying it, she was getting quite fizzy, she was getting quite excitable after the jump, throwing in a few books and cantering off a little bit, but it's all fun and games. So I decided to pop the jump up against the fencing and it was actually quite big at this point for her especially, I mean you can see it was up to my knees. So then I knocked it down to what we originally were jumping so that she could have a go on her own and so that I could lunge over it rather than running over it with her. So it's hard to try and keep momentum when I don't have a whip or anything but I didn't want to force her into the jump. Just let her go from standstill or from walk or from trot or whatever she was happy with. As you can see she just kind of stag leaped it from standstill the first few times and then we got a bit of momentum and she was really clearing it. guys I am so impressed with Caramel right now she's not been worked in a little while and I've never jumped her before and she has just been absolutely amazing
So the next thing I asked you guys what to do was who should I make enrichment for? So it was either the pigs or the rabbits and the rabbits won. So behind me I have three cardboard boxes that I'm going to be cutting up and making into little fun boxes for the rabbits, just something I can put some hay in, some scatter feed in, and something that they have to chew and sort of go into. Something just put a little bit of enrichment in there. Now, so the first thing you want to do is just remove any sellotape, any stickers. This is all the sellotape I got off the three boxes. And I think we'll start with the giant one. This is so big, I can get into this. Well, I'll be isolating in here, guys. So basically, the idea is to cut some holes in these boxes. Now, if you have a giant one like I do, then you can make some little holes for the rabbits to come in through. Just be sure that A, they're going to fit and not get stuck. Um, B, if you make any holes, just make sure their head won't get stuck in either. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm really knife out like a mad person, but Dottie is quite fat. So I'm going to make her a big hole here. This is the lid, so I'm going to be doing the side. Even I can fit through this. Because we're not using any sellotape in this, just because because you don't want your rabbits chewing that, then it's best to use the crisscross method to close off any boxes. These small boxes, I'm just going to put lots of holes in, and then I'm going to put a load of hay in. This one is big enough for the rabbit to go in, but I just think I'm going to have it as a forage box where they just chew at the edges. So. So I am now in the rabbit shed and the first thing I need to do is check if that big box will actually fit in the enclosure. So it does fit in but it literally takes up all the space which I'm not happy with. I wanted it to go outside but it won't fit through the outside run door. So I'm going to give that the pigs in a minute. I might pop some carrots in it and just see what they do with it. However, the ones I have left, I'm going to stick some hay in and normally I'd put treats or forage in here. But due to the current circumstances, being locked down, the pandemic and everything, we um, actually don't have any in at the minute because we've not been to the pet shop. Um, we, they, we just have food and we have hay. Um, they've already had their veggies today, so I don't want to give them any more veggies. So what I'm going to do is just fill it with hay and then put their night feed on top, so their little nuggets. So I'm going to give it to Nala and Dottie because Tallulah got cleaned out yesterday. What was it the day before? But yeah, let's do this. Oh, I just found some Nature's Salad um, from Wilco. So I'm going to use this actually and pop some of this in there. And sprinkle a wee bit on top. So this is a really fun way to give your rabbits their hay to encourage them to eat and to wear down their teeth because rabbits have constantly grown teeth so it's very very important that their teeth are worn down and that they eat plenty of hay to keep their gut moving. And the reason I put the dry forage which is like a treat to them on top is to encourage them to dig down and eat all of the hay. The 
problem is with my rabbits, they're quite shy, so I think until I go, they're not really going to play with them much. But what I will do is in tomorrow's daily vlog is I'll update you on how the bunnies have got on with these on the night and see if they've cued them, see if they play with them. So I'll let you know in tomorrow's video, guys. Okay, so the pigs like carrots. I have carrots. I'm going to put them in the box, give them the pig, and see what they do. I literally have no idea, but we will see. It's also starting to rain, which is fantastic. I'm going to give it primrose first, and then we'll see if she's not wrecked it, if I can give it pr pickle. See if I can give it pickle. But don't worry, I've got carrots for him in case she wrecks it as well. That head's going to fit in whether the little box likes it or not, apparently. To be fair, she soon worked out that the carrots are in there and she's getting in it. <laughs> Don't know if there's going to be much of a box left for pickle. So I've just run in the pig house and I've put the box there because it started chucking it down, guys. <laughs> but they really like it. I'm gonna give Pickle it in a second um, because Prim's actually eating all the carrots out of it anyway, so it won't last much longer. She's kind of broken it, but we'll give it Pickle just so it's fair. You can't eat it. You can't eat that bit. See what Pickle does with it. You've had your turn. Get off it. Right. Let's pop. Some carrots in and close it up a bit and see if he can work it out. What is it? I think he's found the carrots. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this video here guys. Thank you so much to everyone who voted on the polls and everyone who's had an input and thank you all for subscribing and commenting and I really hope that these vlogs are helpful during lockdown. I've had so many lovely messages from all of you guys who I know are really struggling at this time but I will be back tomorrow at 12. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my Instagram and now you can check out my TikTok. Alright then guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!